We need an emoji with Mr. T, and we need one for CJH. The CJH is going to, your emoji is going to be stay on target. <laughs> uh, all right, here we go. Let's, we might as well, might as well watch just a little bit of Grace because this is very interesting. This is very interesting. And I think she's throwing shade at a certain camper. Grace is throwing shade at a certain camper. And I was wrong again. I was wrong because I th- said the industry is behind some of these leaks. But with um, with the clampdown of Reddit, that Marvel is going after people now with the leaks, I think while business is good, they're going to let things slide. But when business starts to... It's not bad right now. I mean, Quantum Mania is almost at like uh, say, 600 million. But when... No, it's not at 600. The, it's like for some... Yeah, yeah. Like well, when the, when, the, when the numbers start sliding, they're going to be looking at stuff. They're going to be looking at stuff. Oh, start Grace. They're looking no. at the 45-day release window. Yeah. Oh, not well, good, Kelly. Kind of be quiet. All right. Shh. Kelly, Kelly. Come here. Get over here. I spent so much time with you today, dog. All right. Kelly, Kelly, Kelly. All right. So, all right. I'll thumbs it up. I'm still subscribed to her, even though she blocked me. I guess she does. I guess I deserve the block. All right. Uh, let's. Shh. You got to hear this, though. You got to hear this. Because everyone knows about the camper and the no way home situation. You know? What's so, the, what, what's uh, the camper? Sean Campia. I call him the camper. He camps on uh, for super chats. He used to have like 24 hours open stream labs. Just send it to super chat 24 hours, which, you know, that's a good, I, I should maybe do that. Yes. My neighbors might hate me. Who let the dogs out? They're always out. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is talking about the Marvel studios, Reddit, and she has some insight on, scoopers and she is suggesting that that no way home situation was not just a brush off that people you know so that's what this tea we're going to get here about this very board and they're saying that they they're trying to compel reddit to identify the quantum mania leaker who leaked the closed captioning script for the film so at least a ton of dialogue which obviously gives away a lot of the story now i'll give you some tea all right, T, here he goes. Here's the T. Let me put the volume up a little bit. And I think this is talking about John Camp. Remember Campia? Toby Maguire's D? Remember that? And remember later on, he says, I don't care about access anymore. And then he flipped out when he went to he went well, to the Disney event. He said that long before that, though. He said for years he doesn't like going to industry events because it's too much of a drive. Uh, okay. Well... I'm, you're sorry to disappoint you, Max, but Grace is actually... I think she might be referring to a few people, though. I think she might be referring to a few people, World Champ. And I don't... They act, John Kippy at least admitted that he was talked to about that. So I think there's a few people that got in trouble for that. I happen to also know that Marvel has been trying to get Reddit to give up some scoopers, some anonymous scoopers, based on their IP as well. So Marvel's, you know, been, you know, you know, poking Reddit for a while, but this is their most serious move yet. Now, it just so happens that uh, Reddit cannot divulge the identity yeah. unless someone regularly posts on the site because uh, it disappears. Reddit's designed to protect identities. So they cannot, they don't, they, there's no IP to divulge. There's no email to divulge. So I think that Reddit's like, well, what do you want us to do about it? And I think that Disney must know this. Disney is a very big company with a large number of expensive lawyers working for them, who I'm sure, um, who I'm sure, uh, you know, looked into what how Reddit works. So I think that this is Disney setting the stage to go before a judge and say, you fix this, because Reddit is allowing the distribution of our property. Are, are you know protected property? Well, I, I I heard that Reddit may be getting around this situation by uh, saying that they did actually post it there. They just provided a link to Google. 
So they say here's leaks, but they don't actually post it on Reddit. They post the link. Uh, well, yeah, that is a lot of super chats. <laughs> well, he also blew up after that Toby Maguire. His channel started doing really well after that. He knew exactly what he was doing. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. Um, let's let's watch a little bit more of this, and then we'll get thoughts. We're not watching a lot of it. Copyright protected property. Hey, Jennifer. And I feel to some degree they have a point on this one. I think that's very interesting. There's also a Supreme Court case going on right now about the internet in general, whereas right now internet sites have uh, immunity. They're like, we're not responsible for what's posted on our site. Uh, and that's, of course, in the, in the past been used, you know, with uh, hate speech, political, uh, um, you know, conspiracy theories, all that. And that's been problematic, too. I, don't, I definitely don't want to go as strong as everybody, as some people, as the companies and the government want to. But I, I do feel that, you know, there, there are some issues. Sony didn't sue for the No Way Home leaks. They did not sue. But I can tell you there were repercussions for that. And I don't feel comfortable divulging what they were. But every See, that's not necessarily directed at one person. You see, she said that Sony could would have uh, could have sued whoever leaked it, but they didn't want to. You see, no, that she said there were repercussions, but she doesn't feel comfortable saying what they were. Yeah, I actually believe, reason, I actually believe, why, and that's the reason why other people throw out fake stuff on Reddit about No Way Home, so it could yeah. throw off the stuff mm. about it. Oh, yeah, see. Totally. Like about for example, it. like like um, there was at, at that point in no way home. There was a rumor that that Tof or not Tof not Tof what's his name, the girl who played MJ. Um, Kristen Dunst was gonna come back and play Mary Jane. Um, the girl who played on May and Toby was gonna come back mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And we was gonna see Andrew Garfield on May. So there was a lot of rumors about that. So for mm -hmm. no way home. So it's. it's so, Sony probably is like, yeah, we don't want to. Who's going to make this billion dollars regardless? Yeah. Yeah, and she would have no way of knowing. She says there were repercussions. How would she know? You know, Sony didn't, wouldn't tell her about well, it. She, she, <laughs> no, but she she knows some scoopers herself. They, her and the, She is in the scoop community. Yeah, but the scoop community is full of shit. They don't, they don't know anything. They know what uh, to be afraid uh, of. I, yeah. I, 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 would, I wouldn't say they don't know anything about DC. They kind of they kind of they kind of support each other to a way. You know, they don't reveal things; they pass it around. They're support. They they were reliant on each other. They are, I think. Uh, but remember, when he did that, he said he was contacted right away with the Sony leak, and he put it. Remember, he put his um, he put his watermark on the images that just put him as big big target and oh, that he, was worse that was yeah worse. I'm putting him out of he, was, and he, he did benefit monetarily from oh, that I, big time yeah he i like say that was worse play, i think i think he, that was a smart he likes, move he likes to claim he's not a scooper but uh i don't i don't know but i i don't well we'll get to brian you're not a f huge fan of scoopers do you believe her at least on this part brian where she says there were let me let me rewind just a few seconds I do feel that, you know, there, there are some issues. Sony didn't sue for the No Way Home leaks. They did not sue. But I can tell you there were repercussions for that. And I don't feel comfortable divulging what they were. But everybody in the scoop in the uh, press community knows that that was, not, that was not a victimless crime. See? She says everyone knows. The, I believe her there. I believe her there. What do you think, Brian? That there were ramifications for the No Way Home stuff. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, okay. hey, I'm I'm just reporting on the. I don't I don't leak stuff myself. I don't scoop anything. Yeah, but who were the ramifications against? Were they, I, he got they, more he, subs and views, dude. Yeah, uh, were the the ramifications for against probably Campia access or the person who probably sent access. Yeah, that, uh, we don't. We, I mean, I don't know <laughs> what they, what Sony told the press or Marvel about the leak of Charlie Cox and stuff like that. Oh, Charlie Cox and Andrew Garfield and Toby, we did. We don't know, but that's that's what they're using. They told them, so mm -hmm. we just we don't know what the what Marvel and Sony told the press about those John Campy leaks. Well, you can't lose respect for for Campy at that boy. He he didn't know. He thought that they were fake. 
No. Oh, no, come on, no, Chris, no, Crazy Joe. No, no, no let's let's hear need. Crazy Joe. Let's hear no, Crazy Joe. Well, no. it's a different opinion, which we value. Yeah, no, well, I mean, he said himself he thought they were. He wouldn't have released them if he I thought they were not, real. I do not. Oh, I do not. I do not. He and I, and I saw them, and he was right. The light source it, it was wrong. They did look viral. fake. It what? What? Let Crazy Joe speak. I was in internet. It went viral. Fake shit goes viral all the time. No, it doesn't mean it's real. No, it's no, no. Uh, listen, Crazy Joe, I respect your opinion. I completely disagree with you. I think you don't want to mark a thing unless you think it's going to get traction. If it's a nothing, oh, you yeah, don't no, want he to wanted it to get traction. He wanted it, he definitely wanted it to get traction because he said the last thing I think he put he out got exactly, traction. I think he, he knew wanted, exactly what it was. Well, I don't think he knew it was real because then he wouldn't have put it out. He knew it was real. He knew. He knew. Uh, no, he there's just, no he way. He's why he put the watermarks in it. Allow differences of opinion here. Crazy Joe thinks he he didn't know. He's yeah, not a see. he's not a spoiler guy. He has no history of giving spoilers out. He hasn't done it before. He didn't do it since. That's uh, he, one incident. So it's a if it's an isolated incident, you have to say if this isn't what? in character of the person, then why would we believe that, that that's what they were trying to do? Now, if it's a person who's putting spoilers out all the time, then you go, yeah, that's he's a done pattern of behavior. In the, he's done some things in the past. I can't pl place my finger on it, but. That's just my opinion, but I'm glad there's a difference of opinion here, Joe. Taladia, do and you have any? And the other thing I said was it really wasn't a spoiler because we didn't know. We saw the images. We didn't know it was legit until we were in the theater. So I still went into the theater not knowing if that was real or not. So I wasn't spoiled because it was still a surprise when it happened in the movie. Mm -hmm. um, well, he, um, absent good, he said things like, I'm not a scooper, but this. I will reveal this. He's done it a few times. Even when he started... Even when he left Collider, he's he had a scoop that he took with him that was meant for Collider about Ben Affleck. Uh, so he he's done things a few times in the past. So he does it when he he does it strategically, in my there's, opinion. There's yeah. a difference though between saying I've heard that uh, Affleck's not coming back and a spoiler. Like like they're two different things. Like, I could tell you, oh, I heard Jonathan Frakes isn't coming back after Star Trek Picard. But that's not like a spoiler. Unless if I said Riker's going to die on Star Trek Picard, that's a spoiler. What? <laughs> no, I, yeah, I heard it here first. <laughs> Don't Mike, do that. You're going to give I'm Mike and Brian a heart Star attack. <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't know why you watermark something you think is fake. I don't. I that's just my anyone yeah, else would have to do this that. You before don't um, yeah. Well, well, uh, why would you want to rock it if it was real? He wanted to bring people back to his wow. channel. Oh, bro, you don't do that. I was gonna say my my honest opinion is that you remember that one image of to, uh Andrew Garfield on the on the rail and everything? Mm -hmm. Um when it, I think it was the video, I think it was not posted on YouTube. I, I think that one was legit. Which turned out to be true, uh, my honest opinion. Um, yeah, everything else was like, like I wasn't too sure on. But, you know, we don't draw what John Compy is like. Um, and the same thing can be said for Grace as well. Like, no, no offense to Grace, but she has got things wrong in the past, right? Which is, which we I don't think know. she's ever gotten anything right. <laughs> okay. I know, sure. but. but I, I I think you know, no she she shouldn't take things to heart. That's the problem I find with Grace. She takes things to heart, and she shouldn't. Well, if you're big enough, you kind of have to. I mean, listen, I'm almost at I'm barely close to six k, and I get enough you know bullshit. Imagine if you had almost a million subs and amount of stuff. You kind of want to get rid of people quicker. Your 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 switch is faster. You know what I mean? Do you agree, Brian? The more people, the more he, you know. Okay, I'm done with you. Okay, I'm done. With you you kind of have to be like that. You know, pretty much. Yeah. No, da it's... Daniel, Daniel. I'm sorry, but it's like, it's like I, I'm not one of those people that you know said give it to her, you know, give her the um, give her the you know, the the repercussions because not repercussions. What's the word I'm looking for? Give be mean to her. Because the way I see it is, you know, you know, let her do her thing. If she's wrong, that's down on her. That's her own fault. And, you know, everyone will see that. That's, that's down on her. But I'm saying, 
right? If you can't handle the heat, that's on you. Don't take it out on others. Oh, I block you just because you can't take uh, criticism from people. Yeah. Well, uh, that boy comes up with an interesting comment too here. Spoilers being rampant online months before the movie or show even comes out is why movie talk is on the decline. Uh, or or do, you, do you mean movie talk or actual movies? Because is it... I want to ask the question to the to the panel. We'll get uh, CJH maybe first, Anthony first. Do you think all this spoiler stuff is starting to affect box office? Like usually it might have been a draw if a movie's good and you don't want to get spoiled, you go to opening weekend. But now some of it is it, it all could it also be in, interfering with box office? Are spoilers rampant? I'm not hearing many spoilers. And oh, I yeah. see no evidence there's, for movie talking about the There's spoiler <laughs> there's spoilers out on Shazam too right now. I haven't heard any of them. I mean, I guess if you're not looking for them, I, Anthony is ready to tell you. If you I mean, really if, you, if you told me someone had a spoiler for a movie, like for example, uh, some spoilers leaked for scream six. I avoided all scream six hashtags. And if I saw a video that had scream six in the title, I avoided it like the plague until the movie came out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to be nicer to everyone. I don't want to hate on grace. I don't want to hate on grace though. She does some good work. Uh, I don't know. What do you think? CJ, she thinks spoilers no, could be affecting, could be affecting <laughs> box office. Anthony after that. Cool. Anthony, what do you think? <laughs> About what? About the question I asked. <laughs> what, what do you ask? Because oh, yeah, because I didn't hear it. Box office, you know, a little bit with these uh, you know, the movies, the market movies, oh. movies. If you know about the movie before you've seen it, what is the point? Yeah. Yeah, like what is the point of going to see the movie if you know about it? What's the point of Knowing about the post credit scene, if you know about it, mm -hmm. like that's what post. Like, if you go going to see the movie, like have fun with it. Just don't, you know, leak it or talk about it, even for a cameo. Like, hey, you know, John. Yeah. Like it's just, yeah, there's no fun of like knowing about the movie a week before the movie come out. It's not fun. No, it's not fun, and Brian Brian doesn't like that either. But he, I don't think Brian has any interest in seeing Shazam 2. So. Well, I'll get around to it eventually. I think HBO Max will do a watch party if it comes out in like 30 days or something. I'll, I'll tell you this. HBO Max are fools if they put that movie on, on streaming. Uh, in Well, that's to be determined. Well. Depends on the second weekend. Doesn't matter. The audiences see patterns. Honestly, Black Adam going on HBO 30 days later kind of doomed to the box office for shazam because i can't tell you how many people i've heard say i don't need to go see shazam it'll be on hbo max in 30 days well if you didn't put black adam there in 30 days people wouldn't think that but because people look for patterns and they see patterns and they go oh hbo they put the movies out real quick you got to stop doing that it doesn't matter if the movie's a hit it doesn't matter if it's a failure you gotta at least go two months because mm -hmm. anything more than that, you're telling the audience, oh, you just have to wait it out. And that's mm -hmm. what they do. Mm -hmm. uh, Taladia, do you, you have anything to add there? You think the spoiler culture is, is it, before it might, it might generate FOMO in the past, but maybe it's starting to affect box office for like quantum mania or something. Thanks. Maybe, maybe for below average or below. No, uh, the, no, the, Go ahead. Warner Brothers should have never released that TV spot of um, Wonder Woman. Yeah, it would have been fun to see Wonder Woman in theater. I'd be like, oh shit, she's back! Yay! Like that should have never happened. Whoever, whoever put the ad out there, Wonder Woman should get fired. Ellie should get fired from doing another TV ad or whatever. Like, it would have been a nice, it would have been a nice surprise to see Wonder Woman in theaters, not on a TV spot. Like, come on. I got to respond to World Champ here. World Champ says traditional release pattern is done. Studios want to make money however they can. That is costing them money. If they want to make money however they can, they got to stop doing this thing and putting them on because they're killing the second weekend box office. Even when a movie has strong week, or first weekend, they don't go back for repeat viewings. And 
when you put the things out too soon, people think I could just wait a month. So yeah, they do want to make money however they can. And that method is preventing them from making money. Okay. All right. Let's move on from this one. Uh, Kelly. Oh my God. Dog. The, the cat and the, let's actually look at, let's actually look at these, uh, Lady Gaga photo, so let's get a reaction. Uh, because this is exciting. CGH, are you there? I don't know what I happened. Think, I think CGH I think, fell asleep. Yeah. I think Oh, you did okay. His microphone's broken. It broke. Use headphones. You can't, can't hear you. You can't mute. You can't it. hear us. You re restart your stream labs. What the hell, man? <laughs> you need a new microphone. Oh, sorry, CJH. Man. I wish I, st I wish I still had my backup mic. I'd send it to you. Yeah, bummer deal. Too bad yeah, somebody I, has I, it I, I sent that backup mic to someone that <laughs> announced on Twitter they're leaving. <laughs> so <laughs> there's no way I'm getting that back. All right. So, uh, okay. So let's actually get to the lady. Got oh, let me see. CJH, can we hear you now? No. 